So Brian, we have here behind us the Lely Vector. For our viewers who don't know what a Lely Vector is, could you explain yeah. what it is and what it does? Okay, so a Lely Vector, it's what we call a mixing feeding robot. So what it is essentially is it's a diet feeder, but it's fully autonomous. So this machine behind us is what we call, uh, it's a tub essentially, so it's a tub mixer. And it works in conjunction with a feed kitchen. So a feed kitchen is something that a farmer would have in his farm. He would fill it up with silage or maize or whatever uh, is in his diet. It can be filled with a with the grabber, it can be filled with an auger, and it fills automatically and it fills out to the, feeds out to the cows automatically. So it the whole proposition is the farmer will fill the kitchen as and when it suits their timetable, and this feeds the cows when it suits the cows. So it delivers uh, small quantities of feed very often to the cows, so the cows always getting something fresh, something tasty, and the mix quality is always very, very consistent. So in terms of cow numbers, how many cows could this vector feed? How many cows could it cover? Yeah. Or so a single vector system, a single tub vector system can feed 250, maybe 300 cows. So like it can, even though it looks small, mm. it's, you know, it's doing a lot of work because it runs 24-7. And it's also doing lots of other little tasks. So it's kind of small but mighty because it's also not only does it feed the cows, but it measures how much feed is available to the cows. So as it's driving along the feed passages, it's scanning the feed height at the feed barrier to make sure that there's enough available feed for the cows. And it pushes in the feed to the cows because it's proven that the more often you push in the feed, uh, the more your cows eat. So it's doing a lot of little things for you. And how exactly does this machine here know where to go or know where the barrier is know where the kitchen is how how does it run okay so our, our lely technicians they would install it and they will pre-program routes so it runs on uh, it runs on an ultrasound so it ultrasounds off distances from a barrier but it also can run on metal strips so if, if it has to cross a yard or an open space it would run along a little metal track in the ground so that will guide it to where to go and then when it goes into the shed it runs off an ultrasound to keep a certain distance from from a fixed object like a feed barrier so it's a very you know it's a very clever bit of bit of machinery and you just you mentioned the kitchen there could you just expand a bit further on what the kitchen is and how a farmer goes about filling the kitchen okay so a feed kitchen would a typical feed kitchen would be about a tree bay shed and it's mounted a crane is mounted on the on the shed and the the crane has a little grabber, so like a little uh, little shear grabber, a little, you know, uh, uh, like a front, what's on the front and lower, a small little grab, and that moves along the a gantry crane and it lifts up uh, silage. So you would put your silage or your maize in in blocks. So when you cut your block over the face of the pit, you bring it to the kitchen, the feed grabber and the crane will locate the block within the kitchen, it will take up the silage and will put the silage into the tub. Also, you can put into the tub augers, so if you're feeding a uh, meal in the diet or if you're feeding a liquid in the diet, you have a pump to pump liquid in. So, or minerals or whatever you want to put in your diet. So the farmer decides what his diet is. Uh, the farmer fills up the kitchen as and when necessary. It's usually a job you do maybe twice a week and the uh, Lely Vector feeds out in uh, as necessary to the cows. So the kitchen would typically be a two or three bay shed that a farmer would have. So what we would do is we would uh, fit a crane onto that with a feed grabber on it, much the same as a, a smaller version of a grab that would be on the front of a tractor. So what the farmer would do, he would feed up, fill up this uh, feed kitchen typically twice a week. So he would fill it with blocks of silage or maize or whole crop or whatever he's feeding his cows or you can put in a bunker for, for beet or something like that. So. The grabber will, will locate where the silage is or where the maize is uh, and it would fill the, the, the mixer feeding robot or the vector uh, accordingly. So the farmer makes up his diet and the, so it could be for instance, you know, uh, 100 kilos of, of grass silage, maybe you know, 50 kilos of, of maize silage or whatever it is and the, it would get the exact quantities and fill it into the, into the tub and the tub will mix it accurately. You can also have augered in feed such as you know if you're putting meal into the into your diet or if you're putting liquids or minerals into the diet we can have pumps or you know mineral dispensers or whatever so it's very very flexible depending on the farmer's diet what they're feeding to their cattle and then how is this controlled is there an app or how exactly does the farmer formulate his diet to yeah. go into the tub so the, the, the diet would be formulated by the farmer's own nutritionist so whoever they get their nutrition from would formulate the diet what we do is we deliver uh, the diet to the to the cow or to the to the beef animal. 
So that's what we're about, about delivery effectively, about giving you know, the right portion of the right consistency at the right time. And it's controlled, the, the vector behind this is controlled by an app, so it can be controlled off your phone or a tablet or whatever. So it's very, very versatile uh, and very easy for a farmer to use. And then in terms of savings for the farmer, like what kind of savings does he have through using this versus a diet feeder? Yeah, so I suppose the biggest savings would be uh, uh, fuel consumption. So this one's on electricity and with the green image now, a tractor turning out diesel, maybe it's not what you know, people think of a green image when they think of agriculture. So it runs off electricity, it runs off a very low power requirement. Also, you know, you've uh, one less machine in the yard. So like it's just, uh, instead of having a tractor there that you're unhitching and put on a diet, uh, a diet feeder, this will do the job for you. So like they're the big savings. And another massive saving is of course, the you'd expect from belly is labor. So it's, it's feeding out the cows or your beef animals or whatever, so you don't have to. And it's also pushing in the feed. So not only is it delivering the feed to you, but it's also pushing it up as well. So there's quite a, quite a large labor saving as well as the fuel savings as well. And then finally, Brian, I suppose, how much does one of these cost? <laughs> a, a typical one of these systems, a single tub system, you're talking starting in a region of around 120,000. So if you look at the price of a mixer feeder wagon plus the price of a, any kind of a decent tractor to drive it, it's very comparable uh, in terms of that. That's great, Brian, thank you very much. Is that okay, Roger?